woman, the head teacher of a struggling local school, is found brutally murdered in Langstone Harbour. D.I. Andy Horton is appointed to lead the investigation, but not for long if Superintendent Uckfield has his way. Horton is given only a week to find the killer. After that, he'll be shunted off the case. Horton now has a point to prove, as well as a complex murder case to solve. A note was found on the victim. Have you forgotten me? along with money wrapped up in a five-pound note and dripping with honey. Is there a clue in the owl and the pussycat rhyme? Is it simply a senseless murder by an unhinged killer, or does someone close to the head have a motive for murder? As Horton delves deeper into the investigation, aided by Sergeant Cantelli, the tension mounts. With the clock ticking, Horton is soon forced to take a decision that will put his life on the line. Hello and welcome to Crime Writers, just one of our brand new short, unique entertainment programmes here on Legal TV. I'm Rachel Harvey-Jones and in the studio with me today is Pauline Rosen. Pauline is the author of Marine Mysteries, Tide of Death, featuring D.I. Horton, and In the Cold Daylights, and of course, In for the Kill. Pauline lives on Halen Island, where her novels are set. But before becoming a full-time writer, Pauline ran a marketing and PR agency. Today, we will be discussing Deadly Waters. Well, it's a pleasure to have you back. Thank you so much, Pauline. It's lovely to be here again. Um, once you. again, I mean, I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed um, your previous novel, mm -hmm. which we've, uh, we've talked about um, on Crime Writers, where we're talking... Before we sort of delve in and talk, delve in, water, oh, I'm sorry, it's <laughs> <Very rubbish. laughs> uh, Before we talk about that, tell us a little bit how you sort of went from uh, owning a marketing and PR company to sort of writing crime novels. Ah, well, while I was running my marketing and PR company, I was also writing at the same time. Ah, right. Um, because it takes, you, you know, you a long time to get into your stream and to find your style. And um, being in marketing and PR, you meet a lot of very interesting characters <laughs> as <laughs> well. <laughs> so it's very good material for your novels. Um, and uh, if I ever met anybody that I didn't particularly like, or shall I say that was rather nasty to me, mm. I'd think, right, I can put them in one of my novels yeah. now and they can feel as a nasty character. <laughs> like we can kill them off. Or quite. kill them off, yes. yes. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about Deadly Waters, because mm -hmm. I know that the first um, novel that you wrote, Tide of Death, features D.I. Horton, yes. uh, D.I. Andy Horton, and Deadly Waters is kind of a sort of a follow-on from Tide of Death, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Um, it's the second in the series, mm. um, and I'm just finishing the third now, <gasps> so um, hopefully our re my readers are going to have a lot of uh, D.I. Andy Horton. Um, and it really takes him on from the first one where he um, was suspended uh, from uh from his job for a number of uh, months because mm. he was accused of raping a girl during an undercover uh, operation. Right. Um, so in the first novel he actually sort of clears his name but in the second novel he has a new crime to solve but he also has a legacy that his marriage is broken up and he's fighting to gain access to his eight-year-old daughter Emma as well. Right. So the personal theme is carried through but there's a new crime um, and uh, there's a newly formed major crime team in Portsmouth where it is set and uh, Andy wants to be on that team and he mm. finds out in Deadly Waters that he's not actually got the job. Ooh. So, um, he's got another point to prove. But where did your idea come from? I mean, if you do sort of wake up with ideas mm -hmm. uh, for Andy Horton. Um, it, Andy came from really a number of different things, but uh, locations are usually very strong with me. Mm. Um, they evoke a lot of ideas. And uh, with Andy Horton, uh, I was walking along South Sea Beach one morning. You're surrounded thought, by yes. beauty where you are. Aren't <laughs> lots you? of water and um, uh, lots of lovely scenery. And I was walking along the beach one morning, and I thought, what if 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> what if? Um, he, uh, this detective was to stumble over a, a body, and uh, that's really where Andy Horton came from. But I didn't want him to be sort of like an ordinary detective, so he uh, rides a Harley Davidson, mm. and uh, he lives on a boat because since his oh. wife kicked him out of the family home, he hasn't got anywhere to go. So he lives on a boat in a marina at the moment, and he's a very you know big sailing enthusiast, which fits in with the, the scenery around the novel. Of course. Mm. Um, I have to say that um, I've read In for the Kill, which is a, a novel we've spoken about in the past, and I love your style of writing. I haven't read um, Deadly Waters because it's literally hot off the press. We're yeah. very fortunate to have Pauline in with us at Legal TV. Um, it's due to, I've actually got um, a copy here, but it's like gold at the moment. When does it actually <laughs> go into the shop? Um, it's actually released in the UK on the 27th of September. Oh, we're way ahead. So, yes, <laughs> absolutely. And it will be out in hardback in September. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, in the UK and the States in January. I look forward to reading it. Mm -hmm. uh, how long does it take to, to write a novel or does it, does it vary? It takes me about a year uh, to write a novel but my publishers are asking for one every six months at the moment wow, so I may pressure. have to speed up no. but, uh, but it, roughly about nine months to a year. Yes. I just finished a journalism course I think I managed about three essays in a year <laughs> let alone a novel. Now uh, as you know you're well dare I say you're an old pro here on Eagle TV now <laughs> And if you would be so kind as to uh, assign the inside of Deadly Wars. If you've just joined into us, you're watching Crime Writers, one of our brand new programmes here on Legal TV. We're with Pauline Rose and we're discussing Deadly Waters. Now, if you have already read uh, In for the Kill, if you could put it on our rather dashing bookcase. Thank you so much, Pauline. Thank yeah. you. Uh, if you already have read In for the Kill and you love um, Pauline's writing, then you'll absolutely love this book too. I've yet to read it because it is so new. It's uh, not available until September. Now, you, you sort of teased us with uh, a book that might be coming out very shortly after yes. Deadly Waters. Yes. What's, what's your next project? Um, the next project is the third Andy Horton novel which hasn't got a name at the moment <laughs> um, but um, I'm very pleased with it. It's coming along very well. Andy's personal life is you know, has its ups and downs and another complex case to solve. Uh, is it on the up and up in the third novel? Him on the other side. It's his personal life. Oh, there are a few setbacks along the way. That means he's not going to tell us, <laughs> basically. <laughs> well, thank you so much once again for coming in and talking to us here at Legal TV. I'm going to ask you to make a promise, which is a little bit naughty of me, but will you promise to come back and discuss your ne next oh, novel with us? I'd be delighted, yes. Oh, It'd be thank great you. fun. Thank you do realise I've got thousands of witnesses to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be thanks, a pleasure. Thank thanks you. again. Um, don't forget Deadly Waters out in September, In for the Kill, which and uh, lots of other previous novels, Tide of Death well by Pauline Rosen, so do go out there, great reads. Until next time here on Crime Writers, bye-bye for now.